Hi, my name is Jeanette Falk, and I'm a postdoc researcher at Aarhus University. I will introduce our paper entitled What do hackathons do? Understanding participation in hackathons through program theory analysis, written in collaboration with my colleagues Gupinat Kanabiran and Nikolai Brodersen Hansen. In our paper, we explore what hackathons do. Specifically, we look at how hackathons are adapted to specific contexts and challenges, and how we might conceptualize hackathons as a specific form of participation. Hackathons are increasingly embraced across diverse sectors, and some hackathon organizers have sought to tailor the format in relation to their needs and context. In general, hackathons have been commended as a way to empower a broad and diverse audience through participation in various phases of designing technology. However, despite hackathons gaining more traction in HCI research, relatively little is understood about their methodological validity. This, we argue, warrants closer scrutiny. Hackathons have also been criticized. For instance, the lack of sustainable outputs in the form of prototypes, as well as a lack of diversity in participation, are some prominent critiques. While we agree with a lot of the critique, we argue that modified hackathons can and should be utilized as a part of future HCI research, since they can offer a form of methodological democracy in the face of epistemological hegemony. Or, in other words, the issue is not with hackathons themselves, but with how they are implemented. In this paper, we study how hackathon processes are formatted and organized in relation to the desired end goal of a project. We do this to aid future research through the use of hackathons. We selected and analyzed 16 papers from the ACM Digital Library as cases on modified hackathons. We apply program theory to exemplify how specific components for organizing hackathons were modified for different purposes. Program theory comes out of the field of evaluation. It offers a way to explicate the assumed causalities of an effort a program by focusing on the underlying assumptions on how the programs are expected to work in terms of input, process, and effect. We performed cross-case analysis by creating and juxtaposing program theory diagrams of the 16 hackathon cases. Our contributions include a catalog of examples on hackathon formats modified for specific purposes and structured in program theory diagrams. We identified three main motivations for modifying the hackathon formats. Participation, sustainable outcomes, and learning. Oftentimes, modifying a hackathon format was motivated by the general criticism of hackathons. The analyzed cases illustrate steps towards exploring formats which may accommodate the critique against hackathons. We also provide suggestions for organizers and researchers who are interested in using modified hackathons for further knowledge production. While some hackathons may strive for similar outcomes, the planned inputs and activities facilitating these shared envisioned outcomes can be quite different. Therefore, there is a need to further study these modifications and their effects. For example, there may be an intention to facilitate co-design by having end-users participating alongside developers in a hackathon. However, end-users cannot just be invited to a hackathon. There needs to be carefully planned activities during the process, which can support mechanisms of collaboration between the participating developers and end-users. If you're interested to know more about our work, please read the full paper. We hope that our work can be useful for hackathon organizers and researchers interested in doing research with or on hackathons. If you would like to discuss the work further with us, please get in touch. Thank you for listening.